Hi, this is Excel Video 65. We're doing a little more VLOOKUP. And I want to show you an example. If you try to do a VLOOKUP on something like this column here, where you have multiple 5,000 values here that are account numbers in our little um, accounting example here where we're looking at actual and budget. And you want to take this 5,000 account number and go over and look up in a budget spreadsheet that may be on a different tab. I've just put it here on the same tab to make it easy to see. The problem you're going to have is every time you look up 5,000, you're always going to get uh, the first one on the list. You're going to get for department 100, you're not going to be able to access 200, 300, 400 because they all have the same account number. When you use VLOOKUP and you say, what do I want to look for? You can look for one thing and that's 5,000. You can't say, I want to look for this and this and this and that, that kind of thing. It makes it difficult. So what the workaround, the solution is, is to combine these two fields, combine these two fields, and then what we can do is look up 5,000 for department 100 over here and get 5,000 for department 100. Uh, the fancy word for that is to concatenate. Let me show you how to concatenate in Excel. What I'm going to do is do equals and this account number. And then I'm going to do an and. And then in quotes, I'm going to put a dash. So it's easy for me to tell where the account number ends and the department begins. And we're going to do an and and do B5. And now what I have is I have one field, 5,000-100, that I can look up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the same formula, since they're in the same order, and copy it over there. And now I can do a VLOOKUP. I can do VLOOKUP this field here. And I'm going to look for it in this range here. I don't want to play with the account number of the department. I've got that. What I want is these two, this um, combined field in the budget. So we're going to do F4 on that, comma 2, do false because we want to find the exact match and hit return. And here we'll even use Format Painter make it look the same. So we can do that, copy that down, and now I'm finding exactly what I want to do. Now, um, the reason these are the same, now watch what happens. The reason these are the same, this is 87.95, it's not finding 52.400 because all of all of these are 52400 and it's finding the very first one. Watch what happens when I copy this, paste it to the departments. Now it can't find it. Oop, paste it the wrong place, hang on. Paste it there. There we go. Do you see what happened? Now that I'm looking for the same, now that I've got my formulas, right? 50 200-100, there's 5200-100, and it and the VLOOKUP works again because I have unique fields here and unique fields here. The, you, and you can do this concatenate thing. You could do three fields, four fields. I mean, you can go out for as long as you need to if you've got an account and a department and a location or whatever and you're trying to look up a budget. It's no big deal. We'll just keep doing this. The cell you want, and if you want text in between, you can do whatever text you want. Just do it in quotes. And the next cell... You put it here, you put it there, and it, you can do a VLOOKUP on multiple fields by combining the fields you want to look up into one cell. It's a trick you may find helpful in accounting systems or other things where you're trying to combine multiple fields and get one VLOOKUP. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.